ever heard it said that if you spell Christmas with X miss as an X M A S, then you're actually removing Christ from Christmas? I always thought that. Well, wow. evidently this one person said that's not so. According to author Ace Collins, in fact, the opposite is true. That's Take right. a look. Occasionally around Christmas, you see it abbreviated as Xmas. Are we abbreviating? Are we going back to an older tradition? What, what's the story behind that? A lot of people get upset when they see that. They think you're trying to take Christ out of mm -hmm. Christmas. Yet if Paul or Timothy came back, they would look at that as putting Christ into Christmas because mm -hmm. X is the first letter of Christ's name in Greek. And so they look at that as the way Christ was spelled. As a matter of fact, in the old days, when a Christian was martyred, People would go up on the street after that Christian was murdered and the body was taken off and draw an X on that spot to represent a Christian died here for his faith. For 1,500 years, the church wrote Christmas as X must. Really? Worship Christ. Remember, most people couldn't read. X they could read, though, as Christ's name. Secondly, and this is really, I think, key and critical, paper and ink were in very short supply. So they abbreviated anything they could when they would write out text. And so this was like an early form of texting, early texting. X must. But believe it or not, it was not taking Christ out of Christmas. It was actually keeping Christ in Christmas. And we can use that as a worship and a witnessing tool today. We can tell people the history of Xmas and show them that it's actually putting Christ into Christmas. I think that's a neat idea, but I still like the word Christ. Come well, on. I do too. Well, it's, it's in Greek. It's yeah. uh, Cairo. Uh, or something like that. Well, Cairo is uh, uh, Christos. Yeah. Okay, ready? We're going to jump.